Hi YouTubers, this is Sonia Look again, my name is Maya and I'm going to show you today um, how to be a bit more, how shall I say, inventive with your colours. Right, I'm showing you today, what have I called it? <laughs> Winter Frost on the Duke of Wales. The Duke of Wales is a rose I have in my garden and it has the absolutely most gorgeous colour you can imagine. A really deep passionate pink. But not, uh, it's, it's, uh, as I said, passionate pink. Alright. <laughs> she has stop. Stop it. Okay, I'm going to start off this time with a blush. I'm going to use the mauve blush <coughs> and I'm going to use that in the inner corner of my eye so I'm going to be using the crease brush sorry I do need the light on inner corner of the eye Make sure it goes right up to the crease and just blend it out towards the middle. Right. Okay, can you see that? I'll switch the light off again. You can see it maybe more. There you go. Right. And then mid eye I'm going to use Berry Rose so I'm actually working this time the eye from the inside to the outside hang on get my eyes right inside to outside alright which normally you do the other way around so I'm still, still using the crease brush and now moving on towards the middle of the eye and applying that all over the middle of the eye and blending out towards the outside of the eye I can tell you guys I can't wait till the build is finished so I can have proper lighting not in the freezing cold here in the camping out in the middle of winter which was a stupid idea but it's the only time we had to do it and now I'm going to use in the crease and the outer corner wild berry Okay, wild berry. So, and you go all the way up. The same applies as you usually do. The darkest colour on the outer corner of the eye and just blend it. The effect this time is going to be you have quite a lot of pink colours diffusing with the strongest on the outside I mean you can do it the other way around but it will just draw the attention to the wrong side of the eye and make the shape of your eye different <coughs> in makeup there are normally no rules but there are things that are more advantageous than others. Let's say that way around. Right, now I'm going to change over to the fluffy brush, the eyeshadow brush. And I'm going into my eyeshadows now. And I'm using satin for the brow bone. 
Okay, so for the whole upper side from the crease all the way up and blending that downwards and softening the edges of the crease. So it's a very easy and very quick look and it's just following the shape of your own eye. Right, and to set this whole thing off I've decided to take hologram and that's the frost bit and you dab it in, make sure the excess is off but that there's plenty enough in the brush and you just overlay the whole lot with its cool iridescent pink it will just give that whole lot that extra little bit of sparkle and you might be saying yeah we can't see your colors properly because of the lighting and so on and so forth all I can say is that actually looks smashing and if you have colors like if you have the Sonia at home go ahead and try it out there's going to be new things coming up Valentine's I'm not quite sure when I'm going to be showing this anyway there are new things coming out and I urge you to get at least one palette so that you can try these things out. Singles will come more expensive and the palette at least has a variant of looks you can do with them. Um, on my lips I have the Mystique Lip Pencil and I've just used Cheer Bliss. On my cheeks as blush I have used the Sunset. So that is the next. That was the look I'll just I've still I've already got mascara on switch it off I don't know the lighting in the winter is always bad I hope you can see that switch it back on maybe it makes a difference there you go see you soon